Hey gang and welcome to another Animal Crossing video, I'm Crossing Channel and one thing the 2.0 update definitely did without question is introduce a ton of new items that we can use to decorate our islands. It turns out though that some of these really cool items are actually pretty well hidden in the game and have to be unlocked meeting certain requirements with special characters who visit your island and that you can visit in the game too. In fact, there are a whole ton of rewards like this, so I wanted to go over all of them in a video. I've mentioned some of these before in some of my previous videos, but I thought it'd be nice to have a cohesive place to go over all of the different rewards, the requirements that you need to meet, and more to get these secret items for yourself in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So let's get right into this. For our first set of secret items, we're looking at Katrina, who as you know will give you a fortune every day in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Well of course, sometimes she can give you a bad fortune, and if you want to purify yourself, Katrina will actually give you a special item in the mail. Now in total, there are four exclusive hidden items that you can only get from Katrina. These happen to be the Gold Turtle, the Horseshoe Door Decoration, Mini Dharma, and of course, the Power Stone, which looks like Katrina's Crystal Ball. These items are honestly super cool, and they're a nice little incentive for actually getting bad luck in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now, of course, this is out of your control, so you just have to get lucky, or I guess unlucky enough, to get your hands on these special unlocks. Another fun detail is that it seems like now, as of the 2.0.4 update, Katrina will actually give you Zodiac items too, which means she has even more different types of unlocks. However, these four are the ones that remain exclusive to Katrina. Daisy Mae, who visits our islands to sell us turnips on Sunday, also has her own set of rewards that you can get simply by buying turnips each time. These rewards are the Kabu Ankake, the Turnip Salad, Jarred Bamboo Shoots, and Bamboo Shoot Soup, and all of these items are exclusive cooking recipes only from Daisy Mae. There are so many different cooking recipes in Animal Crossing New Horizons, and this is the only way to get your hands on these specific four. In order to cook them, you'll need 10 turnips for the Kabu Ankake, 10 turnips and one tomato for the turnip salad, three bamboo shoots for the jarred bamboo shoots, and two bamboo shoots for the bamboo shoot soup. Once you've gotten all of these recipes from Daisy May, she'll go back to just giving you bamboo shoots every day, which could still be pretty useful, especially if you need them to actually make these recipes or grow them around your island. In order to actually get them, you'll just need to buy 100 turnips each time, so it's fairly simple. These items aren't unlocked for a character, but a new feature which is of course group stretching. And there are a bunch of rewards you can get from this, some which are honestly really difficult to get, but you'll definitely want to unlock. First of all, we have the Nook Ink Leotard, which will take 3 days worth of stretching. The Nook Ink Yoga Mat, which will take 10 days worth of stretching. The Dumbbell, which will take 20 days worth of stretching. The Protein Shake, which will take 30 days worth of stretching. And then 7 new reactions, which will take 50 days of stretching. Something that I'm guessing not a ton of people have right now in Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now the good news is, this isn't in consecutive days, so you don't have to do all of this in a row, you can just do it randomly and take your time unlocking them. I certainly have, I still haven't unlocked the protein shake or the 7 new reactions yet, but I definitely want to get my hands on them and you should try to as well, just for the challenge of it. Group stretching honestly isn't that hard to do and you don't need to do anything special in order to get these items, so it's worth going out there and getting them for yourself. I'd love to know in the comment section down below though how many days of group stretching you've done so far and if you've been enjoying the rewards that you get from it. Now I'm guessing that the majority of people already know about this one, but I had to mention it within the video just to keep things complete. Blavas will give you posters once you complete your museum exhibits. These are the bug poster, the fish poster, the framed sea creature poster, framed fossil poster, and the framed art poster. Although these rewards aren't exactly hidden within the game, it is still interesting that you'll have to go to the effort of actually completing entire exhibits if you want to get them. I do imagine though that a lot of players have probably already done this by now, the game has been out for nearly two years and I've definitely completed all of my exhibits, but if you haven't, here's a nice incentive to go out there and complete them, not to mention the other stuff like the golden fishing net and rod that you'll get for completing your encyclopedia too. Lottie will actually give you some pretty cool hidden rewards in the mail for completing special character homes in Happy Home Paradise. 
If you've got the amiibo cards or figures for some of the special characters in Animal Crossing New Horizons and you invite them to the archipelago to have their own special vacation home, then once you've completed it, Lottie will mail you their photo the next day, which makes these some of the rarer rewards to get in the game, as of course you can only end up getting one of them. That means that if you don't have Happy Home Paradise, it's probably going to be pretty tricky for you to get your hands on these photographs, and there are a lot of them to collect as well, as there are so many Animal Crossing special characters. I do really like this one though, as it makes these rewards pretty rare all in all, and I just love seeing all of these characters return to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Being able to get their photographs is fantastic, and something that I'm very happy about, and it's just one of the many great unlocks that you get from Happy Home Paradise. Maybe I'll have to do another video going over all of the different unlocks and the requirements for them in Happy Home Paradise. Let me know in the comments section if you would like to actually see that, and I can maybe work on that. Now once again, I'm guessing that a lot of people already know about this one, but I just had to mention it in this video because it's one of my absolute favorites. You can unlock quite a few exclusive and hidden rewards from Brewster in Animal Crossing New Horizons as well, and they are as followed. The Roost Sable Cookie, which you get for drinking 5 cups. The Coffee Beans, which you get for drinking 10 cups. The Cup with Saucer, which you get for 15 cups. The Coffee Plant, which you get for 20 cups the Siphon which you get for 30 cups, the Pro Coffee Grinder for 40 cups, and then the famous Brewstoid for a total of 50 cups. Now, once again, this isn't consecutive. You don't have to go 50 days in a row if you want to get all of these different items. However, it doesn't seem like you can just sit there and keep drinking coffees again and again and again to get these. It'll happen after you've done it each day. This is a really nice incentive for going to the roost every single day though, and it's something that I really enjoy about this update with Animal Crossing New Horizons, that they really do incentivize you to enjoy these features for a long time, rather than them just quickly getting boring, which definitely could have happened for a lot of people. I actually haven't even unlocked the Brewstoid yet, so that's something that I'm still trying to do, but in my own time. And honestly, I found it really fun to take my time with getting all of these different rewards, as I just love them so much. But let me know in the comment section down below, which of these hidden rewards are you looking forward to getting your hands on Animal Crossing New Horizons, and which ones have you already been able to unlock yourself? There's just such a variety of really cool items in Animal Crossing New Horizons, I honestly love them all so much, and I'm so happy that now we have such a large variety of items and sort of hidden rewards that we can get just by playing the game each and every day. I hope you found this video useful, and personally, I hope that everyone is having a really nice holiday season. I hope that you're enjoying Animal Crossing New Horizons. Maybe you got the game for the first time recently, or you just got Happy Home Paradise. I don't know, but I really hope you're having a lovely day. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, it helps support me a lot. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and turn on channel notifications. And if you made it down to the end of the video, be sure to comment Bob's Gang down below so I know that you did. Thank you for watching. I want to give a big thanks to these channel members for their continued support of me and what I do here on this channel. If you want to become a channel member, click the join button down below the video or the link in the description to learn more. You can get a whole bunch of cool perks like exclusive emojis, a badge by your name, access to our members only discord and our members only podcast too.